Okay, true believers, we're here at your local Toyota dealer. I'm using the same cell phone, so I hope the sound comes out okay. The last one came out okay, but my other reviews, the sound was acting funny, so hopefully this one is fine. And excuse the shaking of the camera, it, it just shakes while I'm talking. But we're over here reviewing the Toyota Wego. And let's look at the specs, so we're just gonna do a walk around. Look at the prices. It's a Wego 1.0 G automatic. Here's the specs. Four-speed automatic, three-cylinder, uh, and 998 cc's. There's like motorcycles with bigger engines in this. But what you're getting it for is the price. I'm talking about 658,000 pesos. 658,000. So let's do a walk around. So let's do this in one take. Wego is a popular car here. Not as probably not as popular as the Vios. So let's walk around first and then we'll look at the finer details, especially inside. So now we gotta walk around. Let's take a look at, let's go in the front. So I think this has recently been redesigned. So it looks way better than the last one, but check out what you get. It looks like you got projector lights. Projector headlights, you got fog lights. These are like regular, just regular lights, not LED lights, but you could change them very easily. The grill. This is what the plastic grill front looks like. And you get these kind of front spoiler looking kind of front. What else do you want to see here in front? I think that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at the wheels. So here's the rear view mirror. It's got the turn signals, repeaters on it. I call them repeaters. I call them turn signals. Here's what the wheels look like. So they're pretty decent wheels. So for 658, that's not bad. Look, you get a spoiler. It's already here, you don't have to add it on. Sometimes when they go really cheap, they skip out on the spoiler, but it changes the look. The whole look, and, you get, and it's got the third light. Here's what the rear lights look like. And you've got these kind of wannabe air vents, but usually what you want to do is change these. Re these are just reflectors. And check that out, it's got the uh, sensors, backup sensors, and a camera. Wow, that is pretty neat. And for 655, you're getting a lot of value. For 658, you're getting a lot of value for your money. So let's look at the back first. Let's sit in it. That's pretty roomy. But this is slid all the way forward. Here, let me slide. Let me slide over here. So it's pretty roomy. Uh, headroom. Headroom is, if you're over six feet tall, you're gonna hit your head on this thing, so not not for the not for the tall people but for regular average people that are about 5'10 like me or less it's fine back here or for kids so let's get the speaker over here let's 
So it's got power windows. I don't know if this is a. I don't know if that's a power door lock or not. And you got your cup holder over here. Power mirrors. Oh, start engine. Engine start stop. That is pretty cool. It's over here on this side. This is what the seats look like. It's cloth, but it's got this red stitching on it. Pretty nice. Let's look at let's go sit inside. It's got your standard airbag here and then another standard airbag. So it's got two airbags. Can't complain. And controls for your radio. Not bad. You got your turn signal, you got your wiper. This is what your what your display looks like. It doesn't look like there's a digital display over there. But good enough. This is what your your oh, oh, I was gonna say uh, shifting shifting lever. I don't want to call it a stick shift. Usual park rear and then try handbrake. Let's look over here. Push button. Air conditioning. It's not the 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 manual. So you're getting a lot of value for this thing. Hazard. I don't know if this comes with GPS or not. And here we go, low compartment. Here's the... And then over here you got your light. No light. Is there a light here? Nope. But you got a mirror. There's no light, but there's at least a mirror. No mirror on the driver's side. And there's, there's no light dome light over here that's not bad not bad at all so this thing has the backup camera if you look at it there's a spot for your auxiliary or your usb like that oops your usb like that there we go So I like it. I mean, for the price, it's really good. Let's look at the trunk release. So there's a brake trunk release over here. This is this is for the. I assume it's for the hood. That's strange. There's no. Uh, so you can only open the this thing from from the yeah. There's no hood release, so you can only open it from the front. This is your trunk, but you but this is folding, and is a 60/40 folding. Let's see. Nope. There. But anyway, there it's not 60-40 folding, it's just all folding, but you can see it's not flat. So I guess you can't have everything, but it's another downside because it's not flat. But this kind of price range, you're not really gonna get see that's a little thing. So it's not if you're looking for something that goes flat, I think you better go with a Honda. I think Hondas do that. But you're getting a lot of value for this. Toyota, I have to say. Let's look at the engine bay. I'm gonna try to do this in one take. Come on. I don't want to spend my whole time looking for the. Oh, I see. It. There it is. I hate, I hate editing. This is what your three cylinder engine looks like. 
like I said, not bad for $658,000. So if you only got $12,000 and you want a brand new car with Toyota quality, then this is this is a good option. If you pick up one of these, I'm gonna say, you know what, you're, you're on a budget, it's practical, why not? Uh, you should last forever. Your parts should come easy. And it should be easy to fix. It's not like a complicated hybrid. So, I like it. Would I get this over... What's its competition? You're talking about Brio. And, well, I, I would definitely get it over a Hyundai. Hyundai's are just, you know, you can... Basically, you just throw it away after the warranty. No, no, it's not bad. Six, 658. Like I said, if you got like only twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. You want Toyota quality? You want a brand new car? I get this. Uh, then you get the Brio. So actually, one of these days, I'll do a review of the Brio. So that finishes our review and walk around. I think it's a good value. Uh, the, what I like is the camera, the backup camera, the backup sensors, automatic, everything is digital. So, and in the wheels, you've got like, instead of plastic hubcaps, you actually got real wheels. And you got the, re the repeater over here. Probably this, this is probably kind of, uh, kind of archaic, but it, do, it doesn't, I don't, you know, nobody does use the radio anymore anyway, so this is kind of a, uh, it doesn't make or break it. And uh, real spoiler, uh, it looks nice and sporty. I guess it's, it's not bad. So look at the, look at the side profile. Even in the rear, look from the rear. Looks nice and sporty also. In the back, I can't really have any complaints. I change those into regular functioning lights. Probably add some mud flaps. Definitely need mud flaps. There's no mud flaps under here, but that's that's a cheap. You can buy them off of of Shopee and get mud flaps. And then I like it. Can you focus? There you go. I think because when the light changes, it's, it goes out of focus, but I like it. Here, let's take some pictures.